Okay, so we're going to do another simulation for experimental probability. If you toss two coins, we're looking at what's the probability of getting two heads. And you'll have to run the simulator, so click on the link there. Um, and we're going to simulate 100 trials, and we're going to fill in this table. I'm going to start you off, and you'll have to finish it off yourself. So here's our table, and I'm going to go to that applet, and I'm going to simulate. I'm going to flip it 10 times. And how many sets of coins am I going to have? I'm going to set two. And now I'm going to flip them. And I'm looking for two heads. Well, that's a dog. That's a head. No heads, no heads, no, not, not, not. So in this case, I have one pair of two heads. And so I'm going to write down, in my case, I have one, one. And so experimental probability is 1 divided by 10, which is 0 0.1. That's easy so far. Going to try the next one. I'm going to flip them again. And so now I have one set of two heads and two sets of heads. Go back here. I have two. My cumulative total on total, I have now three. My experimental probability is I have three and I've divided 20 in total. And so my experimental, if I divide three divided by 20, I get this is 0 0.15. I'll do one more and then you are going to have to finish it on your own. Okay, I'm gonna flip them again. And here I have zero cases of two heads. Oh my goodness. And so if I go back to my thing, oh, I have zero. I have cumulative total is three still, three plus zero. And so now it's three out of 30, which is equal to 0 0.1. I want you to go and finish this table yourself. Once you're done, you take these values that you have here, you take these values, and we're going to put them onto here. So here are my values. I'm going to make an axis along the bottom, I'm going to, and I'm going to make an axis along the side. And my axis along the side is going to be probability. I'm going to make, let's see what I have. I got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I'm going to say that this is 10. This is so 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Make this this zero, zero point zero five, zero point one zero, zero point one five, zero point two zero, zero point two five. And if I'm up here a little bit, hopefully I didn't make it too small. Let me actually drag this down one. And so I'll take down all these. Oh, there's a way I can do it even better. Move everything up this way. And so here is my scale. So the top is 0 0.3, 0 0.3. And if I take my values that I have, I have, let me see how many this way I have. I got 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 16, 18, 20. So I'll say this is 100 then. So this is uh, 10, 20. 30, 40, 50 throws, 60 throws, 70, 80, 90 throws. So in my first, I start off at zero. In my first 10 throws, I had 0 0.1. So my first 10 throws, I ended up here. My next throws, I was at, after 20 throws, I was at 15. And if I keep on going, yours might look different, or should look different. My next one is going to be 0 0.10. And I can see this line here connecting. Your values should look different because you're doing different outcomes. So take some time, and with yours, fill in the rest, do your table. And then based upon, do you notice a pattern? Hopefully the answer is yes. And you are going to estimate the probability the probability of getting two heads based upon your simulation here. You should be able to have a value of that and it should relate to your graph. I'm curious to know how yours look.